So as I said in a previous video, I have far too many tadpoles for this tank. Ideally, you want about two to three tadpoles per litre of water. So in a tank this size, I don't really want more than around 30 tadpoles would be a pretty good number. And I must have well over 100 in here, so I've got far too many. So what I've done is I set up a second tank. Same as this first one, we've got uh, aquarium soil uh, topped with a layer of aquarium gravel uh, and some plants in there. So what I want to do today is take some of these tadpoles from here and put them in here. Now even splitting them, I'm still going to have too many, even for two tanks. So some of these tadpoles are going to have to go back to the pond. Now I've not actually been back to the pond since collecting the spawn, so that'll give me another opportunity to have a look and see how they're developing there, and see whether we can even still see them in the murky waters of that pond. So hopefully you'll join me for that later on in the video, but for now, let's get some of these tadpoles moved over into their new home. It's very difficult to count while I'm doing that, but I think I got somewhere around 30 tadpoles into the new tank. And you can still see, I don't know how well you can see from there, but there are a hell of a lot of tadpoles still in this tank. So I need to take some of them back to the pond, kind of thin out the numbers a bit. So I've got my jar that I collected this morning. I'm going to try and get some tadpoles in here so we can take them back to the pond. This is going to be probably a bit more tricky to get them in this jar, but let's give it a go. Well, it was quite tricky, but I have managed to get a significant number of tadpoles into this jar. There's still quite a lot in there, more, way more than 30, so we may need to do this again at some point in the future. But for now, we'll see how it goes. But I think we need to get these down to the pond as quickly as possible, so let's go. So I've come back to the pond. This is exactly where I got the spawn from. So it's time now to put them back into the water uh, to release them back to where they came from, where they should be. So let's do that. It's actually a pretty sunny day today, so a lot of the tadpoles have come to the surface of the water. They're right by the edge of the pond, so we can actually get a really good look at them. Uh, I wasn't sure if we would do it because uh, although it's really sunny, when the sun goes in it can get pretty cold, so sometimes the tadpoles might sink down to the lower end of the water where it's a bit warmer. Um, but it's actually pretty warm, it's actually warmer than I was expecting. So uh, you can actually get a really good look at the tadpoles today.
So I'm heading home now after releasing the tadpoles. I always walk really slowly through this part of the heath because I know there are grass snakes that live here. Now I've never seen any with my own eyes. Uh, so I always live in hope that one day as I'm walking through back from the pond, I might see some. I don't think I can see any today. I know there's also a lot of common lizards around here as well. I have seen them, uh, not today, unfortunately. But uh, you can hear there's so many birds about. I think I heard chiff chaff earlier, but I'm actually not very good with my bird song, so uh, I could be wrong on that one. But um, it's lovely being out on a sunny day for a change. It's been such bad weather recently. It's so nice to be out here. I'm really looking forward to when the summer really hits. I think that was the chiff chaff. Unfortunately, I've got my vlogging lens on my camera. I didn't bring any of my long distance lenses. So even if I, do, if, even if I saw something, I wouldn't get it on camera today. But uh, birds and things, I think that'll be for another video. This is Vlog Watch. Let's go back home and check on the tadpoles and see how they're settled into the new tank. Well, the tadpoles are swimming around quite nicely in there. That stressful ordeal of being moved from one tank to the other doesn't seem to have done them any harm. They seem to be settling in quite nicely. Uh, now, you may notice that the water level of the original tank here is a lot lower than it was. This is where it was when I first filled up the tank and it's dropped down to about here. So it does mean we need to add some more water in and it's probably a good opportunity to actually do a bit of a water change uh, because we've had a lot of tadpoles in here which means that the sort of nitrogen levels might be a bit higher. The plants will definitely be counteracting that um, to some extent um, but because of the high number of tadpoles I've had in here for a good couple of weeks now um, the water probably does need to be changed. It's, it is really clear, so that I think the plants have been doing a really good job of keeping it clean in there. Um, but um, some of the chemicals you can't see with a naked eye. So in order to, to keep it nice and fresh, we'll probably give them a bit of a water change. But that is something I'll show you how to do in the next episode. So hopefully you've enjoyed this one and you'll come back next time. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like and a comment. It really does help out the channel. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.